What's going on everybody and welcome back. So we're gonna talk about the ALS Safariland setup of holsters again. And what we're really gonna talk about is a couple questions I got asked as far as what light's gonna fit what. Now those are made for TLR1s, TLR1 HLs, X300s. There's a, there's a different amount of lights that they make those duty holsters for and they're generally the more carried lights out there on the market. But there are several other lights that will actually fit in the ALS holsters that are meant for the TLR1. Obviously the holster is made for a TLR1 if that's the model you get or the X300 depending on which one you go with. But there are other lights that will fit into that same holster if you buy the one for the TLR1. Now obviously the TLR1 will work, the TLR1 HL will work, but it is a little bit tight. You can also get a TLR7 and some of the O lights in there. What I wanna do is kinda of go over a couple of these up close and just really show you guys kind of how they fit. Now I know Safariland's probably gonna to wanna to kick me in the junk for this because these aren't specifically made for these lights. So it may be a safety issue. Um, I have not any had any issues with them. I have tested them out and I found them to retain the weapon just as they would with the appropriate light on there. So this is definitely something that's kind of one of those things where, you know, kind of use it at your own peril, I guess. But they will work and I just kept getting questions on what lights will work with these holsters because guys were looking for different duty lights. Security guys were looking for different things. So what we're gonna talk about is the 6390 holster and the 7390 holster. Now these are two completely different designs. Uh, the 7390 is meant to pretty much eat everything from a 1917 and a 34 all in one. And then the 6390 is pretty much specific to the 17 or the 19 because it just gets a little bit loose up and down wise as far as the shorter barrels, if you're short slides, if you get into a 17 model and trying to carry 19 in it. That is not the case with this 7390, although this is the uh, ALS, the level one, I think they only make this in the level three now. So I wanna go ahead and get up close, show you guys what lights fit in what, and kind of show you some of the differences between these holsters, because I just wanted to answer these questions for everybody, and I really hope that it helps you guys out. If you guys are interested in anything that you see here, I will put links down below for you. Some of the 2A stuff, you know YouTube does not allow it anymore, so if there's something you don't see, Check that first link in the description and it'll take you over a page where everything else will be. But generally most of the stuff we're talking about today should be able to be linked below. And if you guys like what's going on here with the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. We're gonna get into these holsters right now. Okay guys, I know there is a lot going on down here right now. We're gonna go ahead and check out some of these lights and how they work in the different holsters. So what we got here, TLR1 HL, Olight PL2 Mini Valkyrie, Olight PL1 Mini Valkyrie, TLR7 Enforce APLC. Got a Gen 4 Glock 34, a Gen 3 17, Gen 5 19, Gen 4 19, Gen 5 45 MOS, Gen 3 19, and a Gen 4 17 right here. So the 6390 holster is meant for 17s. Um, only you do not want to try or the, the 22 you don't want to try and put the 19 or a shorter slide pistol in here um, it's not going to be the best fit there's just too much up and down movement and I'll kind of show you guys what I'm talking about um, it does lock in but you can see you just got a ton of movement in that holster and the break up here is a little bit off now the 7390 will eat pretty much anything from a uh 19 17 to a 34 you can see there is a little bit of lateral play there um checking in a gen 5 you can see still that lateral play or that play up and down not that big of a deal and then check out the 34 locks in there as well same amount of movement a little bit tighter because i have these big suppressor height sights but this holster actually eats the suppressor height sights pretty well so we'll go ahead and we'll get the 6390 out of the way first. So this is meant for the larger guns here, the 17s. So we'll go ahead and grab the Gen 3 here and we will throw on our TLR1 HL. And this is what this is meant for, the TLR1 series, although the HL is a little bit larger, but you can see locks in there. It's not coming out very firm and tight. Good draw stroke on that right there. We'll go ahead and check out the Olights now. As we can see on here, this Olight will fit in this holster and lock in no issues at all. It can twist this gun around and it is not coming out. So that is definitely uh, gonna stay in there. Go ahead and do the PL Mini 1. Fits in there the exact same way, locks in good, not gonna twist out on you. So that's gonna be good to go. Now the TLR7 fits in there. 
as well, but I've actually got my pick rail in there right now, so it's a different size. So I'll go ahead and use the uh, Gen 5 19 just to kind of show you guys that uh, it will fit in the holster. Um, I know it's not the perfect representation, but I don't know where the other rail is, guys, so I apologize for that. But you will see it goes into the holster, it locks in just fine. You just have a little bit more of that play because it's not the full slide. So it definitely will work with the TLR7. I don't know about the TLR8, guys, because I don't have one. So in all, you can see there that that works. Um, it's going to work with all these lights. Um, actually, we'll check the Enforce too. Forgot to throw that one on there. But uh, I can assure you that the Enforce does work in this holster. I'm not going to tighten it all the way down, guys, because I'm going to be taking these off and on. So I just want to get this lined up, basically. And uh, put it through like that. I'm going to give it a little bit of a turn and then we will just check it out and you can see it goes in there just fine, locks in, it is not coming out. So that is pretty much all these lights that uh, are going to work in here. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this holster and we're going to move on to this 7390, which is probably the better of the two because it pretty much eats everything from the 34, the 19 uh, and the 17. Just kind of show you fits in there. The 34, very, very nice. A little bit loose because the light's not on it, but it's not going to come out of there as you can see. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you. Gen 4 17 fits in there just fine. And then a Gen 3 19 fits in there just fine as well. Even the Gen 5 19 will fit in here, although it does get a little bit tight. So let's go ahead and check out all the lights on here, guys. And we're going to actually use, let's use the Glock 34 here. So we'll go ahead, um, because of the suppressor height sights, it's a little bit weird, guys. We'll check out the O lights on here. You can see the holster eats it just fine. It's not coming out. And you do have some uh, tension adjustment you can't do on this holster to make it a little better. Try that O light one PL Mini Valkyrie on here now. You can see that locks in just fine as well. The TLR7, again, guys, I've got the. Uh, pick rail on there. It gets a little bit tight on the TLR1 just because of the suppressor height sight guys, but it does go down in there. Um, so definitely very tight as you can see locks in there. No issues except for getting caught on the site. We'll go ahead and check the uh, 19 because we know the 17 is going to fit because it's there. So we'll check the Gen 3 19 guys just to show you guys that this holster will eat all of them. Gen 3 19 fits in there very nice with that TLR1 HL. We'll check the PL Mini Valkyrie. Fits in there, retains just fine. Try the PL2 Valkyrie. Again, guys, fits in there just fine. You can see that that's working. And then we'll actually do the TLR7 on the Gen 5 here, on the 19, because it actually fits in here as well. But the 17s and longer Gen 5s do not fit in this holster worth a damn, guys. So there you can see fits in there just fine like that. And I want to say the 45 actually fits in there as well, the Gen 5 45, guys. Yep, right there. So it fits in there just fine. So I know it's a lot of mess, guys, but you can kind of see if you've got the 7390 holster, you can pretty much use a Gen 3, a Gen 4, um, fit all of these lights on there to include uh, probably any others that are the size of the Enforce or any of those other lights out there. They all fit, you know, just fine in here, as you guys can see. So I hope that helps you out. But 7390, O lights fit. TLRs fit, Enforce fits, TLR7 fits. It also fits with the uh, 34, the Gen 4, Gen 3, 19, and the Gen 5, 19. But the 6390 will not work with the 19s. It's just too loose. So I hope that helped everybody out, guys. We'll go ahead and get back up in the chair and finish this up. Very interesting that all of those different lights actually fit in there and will retain. And this 7390 setup here is really nice because you can get your 17 in there with an O light 
a Streamlight, the TLR7, the TLR1. You can get a Glock 34 in there, a Glock 19 in there, and all of them are going to fit fairly well. And the Gen 5 45 did fit, but generally you want to stick with a Gen 5 specific holster, especially once you get into the full size guns, because they don't fit in some of the older Gen 4 holsters very well at all. So I hope this helped all of you guys out there that had those questions. I forget everybody that asked, but there were several people. So I appreciate the question. It gives me another idea to make a video. Like I said before, if you guys want anything you saw here today, I will leave links down below for you. If it's something that's not there, and YouTube doesn't allow us to put there, go ahead and check the first link in the description. It'll take you off to a page where everything else is listed. And if you guys like what's going on here and you like getting these new videos on things you may be interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you're still here. Even if this was a shorter video, you might as well just subscribe and get it over with. You guys get out there and have some fun on the range and I will see you on the next one.